Nicholas King. <laughs> Gosh, are you out of breath? That was a very long introduction. <laughs> but thank you, Dean. Thank you, Consuelo. Thank you, Brad Taylor, and all of you for having us today. It's nice to see all of you. I'm seeing so many people logging in, and I'm glad that I can see your faces. Not your faces, your names and your beautiful comments. This makes me so, so happy, Mike and I both. This is Mike Renzi, brilliant Mike Renzi. And we are just so happy that we just feel like I just want to roll the rug up, pour the scotch out, get the ice out. It's today, though it may not be anyone's birthday. And though it's far from the first of the year, I know that this very minute has history in it. We're here. There's a time for making merry, and so I'm for making hay. To the grand up, pull the stops out, call the cops out. It's today. There's a thank you. You can give life when you live life all the way. Life can also be lived on a weekday. So don't depend on some holiday date. If you need New Year's to bubble, then order a double and wait. Yes, we're living and we're well gang, raising hell gang in a special way. Tune the brand of, dance your shoes off, say hallelujah, it's today. There is one big thank you we all can give life when we live life all the way. So tune the grand up, strike the band up, sing hallelujah, it's today. Yeah, it is today, ladies and gentlemen. It is a Monday evening, and we're coming to you live from sunny, beautiful Newport, Rhode Island. It's nice to see all of these beautiful people logging in. We have friends from Australia that are up at 7 a.m. My gosh, how, how are things in the future? Are they good? Are they better than today? <laughs> Thank you guys so much for spending some time with us. We've got a wonderful show prepared for you tonight, and uh, we can't wait to, to keep it going. Mm. Mm. Yeah, this is a song written by the Brothers Gershwin, but it describes perfectly the season in which we are living. Hello, Angela Bacari. Hello, Alan and Karen Bernstein. Hello, Barbara Peters. Summertime, and in the knee, the knee's easy. Fish are jumping, and the cotton leaves are high. Your daddy is rich, and your mama's good looking. So much, little baby, down, 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 let you cry. One of these mornings, you're gonna rise up singing. Then you will spread your wings and you'll dig to the sky. But until that morning, there ain't nothing can harm you. With daddy and mommy standing and getting by. Summertime, summertime, I'm talking about summertime. And the living, summer living, when the living is so fine, it's a job And the colonies are highly lying. Your dad is rich, he's rich, your dad is rich. And your mama, yes, your mama, your mama's so good looking in a hush, little baby. Well, we've got 
got my frenzy. Yes, the man is easy. He puts us in a frenzy. And off we go. So, oh, news. He's sponsoring a fabulous concert. So, dance away your blues and have a little fun. Off we go. Summertime, and you know the beat is easy. Well, Figgy, shot your bed in the cottage. Oh, your daddy's rich, and he had your mama's good looking. So, hush, little baby, don't you cry. I said, hush, little baby, don't remember what you cry. Well, hush, little baby, don't Brothers Gershwin, that is, from Porgy and Bess. And we are in the summertime, at least for us in the Northern Hemisphere. I see friends chiming in from Belize, uh, from London, San Francisco, California. Gosh, we are quite uh, quite multi multinational today. I love that. Thank you guys so much for spending this some time with us. We are Mike Renzi, Nicholas King, as you can tell. <laughs> Otherwise, you wouldn't be here. Jill Smalley, my dear friend, Jill Smalley, who we love, she and Randy, so very much. Great patrons of the arts. Elaine McKenna. Who else is? We have, Mike, you'll never guess who's watching us. Who's that? Don, who was our limo driver. Oh, no. In, in San Francisco. <laughs> in San Francisco. Don was perhaps the most entertaining limo driver of all time. That, he was funny, man. I'll never forget the, the club that he told us about, this place called Lawrence of Oregano. <laughs> and I, I would give anything to get a ticket to Lawrence of Oregano. What does that even mean? I don't even know. I can't even tell you. <laughs> Brisbane, Australia, Poland. You're calling from Poland. Oh, that's terrific. And from upstate New York. Yes, I'm coming upstate New York, actually, to Forestburg. So make sure to, to – uh, I'll be updating the website, something up in Forestburg Playhouse up there at some point in July. We'll let you know. Cape Town. Oh, this is great. Thank you guys so much for joining us. We have a very special song that we like for you now. Not that the others aren't special, <laughs> but this one's very pretty. It was written by Billy Rose, and I first heard it in the movie Funny Lady, where Barbara Streisand got to sing it as Fanny Bryce. And uh, I love this song. Mike loves this song, and uh, I think you'll like it too. Whether you are here or yonder, whether you are false or true, whether you remain or wander, I'm growing fonder of you. Even though your friends forsake you, even if you don't succeed, wouldn't I be glad to take you, give you the break you need? More then you know more than you know girl of my heart i love you so lately i find you're on my mind more than you know Girl of my heart, I 
I'll string along. I need you so more than you'd ever know. Loving you is the way that I do. There's nothing I can do about it. Loving may be all you can give, but honey, I can't live without it. Oh, how I'd cry, oh, how I'd cry if you got tired and sick. More than you'd ever know Loving you the way that I do There's nothing I can do about it Loving may be all you can give But honey, I can't live very much. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. That's more than you know. And we love you more than you know, honestly. I know that sounds like it's played out among performers, but it's really the truth. We love you, Todd Foreman. Our dear buddy Joe Stanford's watching us, and we have friends calling in from the UK. And I love that. And Debbie, don't worry about it. Raising your hand. I just feel like you have something important to say. So by all means, you this is a, you know, this is a two-way street. You just let us know what you're feeling and how you're doing. Thank you so much. All right, we're going to go to Broadway now, ladies and gentlemen. 1964, saw a wonderful show that came out. So if you were an audience member in New York in 1964, you would have heard these very famous words for the very first time. If you were there, you would have heard, On a clear day, rise and look around you, and you'll see who you are. How it will astound you that the glow of your being outshines every star. You'll feel part of God, part of every mountain, sea, and shore. You can hear from far and near a world you've never heard before. And on a clear day. On a clear day, you can see forever and ever more. That show gave birth to a lot of terrific songs like Hurry Up, It's Lovely Up Here, Come Back to Me, and this one, ladies and gentlemen. This is my favorite song from that show, On a Clear Day, You Can See Forever. What did I have that I don't have? What did she like that I lost track of? What did I do 
that I don't do the way I did before. What isn't there that once was there? What have I got? A great big lack of something in me then she could see then beckons to her no more I'm just a victim of time obsolete in my pride I'm not a Day that I'm the last by my past. What does she love that there's none of? What did I lose? The sweet warm knack of wouldn't I be the late great me if I knew how? Sheet music. <laughs> well, this man, I want to tell you a little bit. What is it? That's so much. Let's do the ballad next. Which one? The one that comes after that. Uh, what, yeah. Which, 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 yeah, let's see that one next. I want to tell you a little bit about him real quick. <coughs> Mike is so genius. He's the one who, he, I, I can brag about him. He doesn't have to listen. Mike, put cotton in your ears. You're not listening. <laughs> He's so brilliant. He does just about anything that I throw at him, and it's incredible. I'll, I'll come at, like, literally, Maybe 15 minutes before we went live, I said, why don't we do this instead? And we swapped some stuff around. The man is brilliant without any sheet music or without anything in front of him. He was Mel Torme's musical director, Lena Horne's musical Eddie director, King. Sinatra's musical director, Lady Gaga's musical director, <laughs> and he's my musical director, gosh hey. darn it, and I love that. And we are working on a, on a brand new album for you folks that we're so excited to tell you. We've got some great news for you, but I'm going to drag it out to the very end and tell you at the very end what the big news is. Uh, about this record, I've decided to use this platform as the opportunity to tell you because I've been teasing my friends on Facebook about what the good news is, but I'm going to share it at the end of this program, folks. We have such great news to share with you about this forthcoming album, and I can't wait to do it. In the meantime, here's a track from the record that we did last, which came out three years ago now, 2017. Mike and I put out a record, just piano and vocal, and uh, we decided to pick all songs from the Great American Songbook, and a couple of stragglers. This song is not part of the songbook uh, repertoire, but we love it so much. It was written by three friends of Mr. Renzi, Michelle Legrand, Alan, and Marilyn Bergman, and it comes from a movie called Yentl, and uh, we like the movie, we like the song, we love the writers, and we love the story that it tells. So uh, I give you, without further ado, uh, Legrand and Bergman's beautiful creation, The Way She Makes Me Feel. There's 
snowstorm and yet I shiver there's no flame and yet I I'm not sure what I'm afraid of and yet I'm trembling There's no storm yet I hear thunder and I'm breathless while I wonder Weak one moment, then the next I'm fine I feel as if I'm falling Every time I close my eyes And running through my body is a river of surprise Feelings are awakening I'd hardly recognize As much Are all these new sensations? What's the secret they reveal? I'm not sure I understand, but I like the way I feel. She's there, the water shining on her skin, the sunlight through her hair. And all the while I'm feeling things that I can never share with her. I'm a bundle of confusion. Yet it has a strange appeal. Did it all begin with her and the way she makes me feel? I like the song he's just the best man yeah. he's just the best i love what you do with this by the way this is mike's emmy this is not mine lest, <laughs> lest you be deceived this is not my this is mike's for sesame street you see mike has seven emmy awards a couple of which are from sesame street hello to my friends alex ashley is watching he says renzi you are killing it with that riff they're killing me with that riff he said <laughs> alex ashley is an extraordinary musician and we hope to get him uh, maybe on Soho Muse we could get, grab him, but he does a concert every Wednesday night. Uh, so be sure to check him out. Alex Ashley, he's terrific. And also my buddy Tom Vibes is watching, and he writes, oh, my life, those riffs, Mike. <laughs> Tom is your biggest fan. Well, behind me, of course, my Tom. You got to get in line. You got to get in line. Alan Bernstein gives us applause. My grandmother is watching from Watch Hill with her cousins, drinking and listening to music by the ocean. That's wonderful. And Diane Lynch, all the way from Australia. Thanks for coming. Brad Taylor, that's our buddy. Thanks, Brad. Thanks for, thanks, for, thanks for joining us. This is swell. And I have to tell you, one of my dearest friends logged on, and I am so thrilled to see her name pop up because I love her so much. The love that I have for her is so incredible. And that's Jean Martirano. She's a wonderful singer and a dear friend, a wonderful, sweet person. And I love her like a sister. 
I love her so very much, Gina. I'm so glad that you're watching. And that's a woman to listen to perform. She's the only person who sings uh, Ira Gershwin's My Ship and makes me well up with tears. She's just brilliant. Anyway, uh, we've, we've got another one for you. See, I grew up in Rhode Island and I grew up listening to a lot of, you know, different types of music. But I'll never forget the very first day I heard Ella Fitzgerald. You see, I was, uh, my father used to own a restaurant in Westerly and it was, you know, a coffee house by day, lounge at night. And in that middle part of the day, you know, when all the, the coffee rush was over and it was right before the evening crowd would come in, usually right around that time when the, uh, what do you call it? The, the, uh, the, 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 yeah, okay. The soccer moms would come in, you know, the, you know, the soccer moms that come in with their white Zinfandels. Those are the types of people that we're talking about. They would come in and right before they'd come in. I would be sitting there doing my homework on the bar, you know, as most normal kids do. And uh, I heard Ella Fitzgerald for the very first time. And I have to tell you, I made my dad go back to the radio and play this thing, this song about four or five times. I thought it was the coolest song I'd ever heard. And it wasn't until years later when I got to meet Mike Renzi that I said, Mike, I would love to do that song. Do you think we could do it? He goes, yeah, I know it. Because of course, Mike Renzi knows every song ever written. And so we did it on our first record that we did together called 19, which is available at all digital retailers, you can check it out. But this is the song, ladies and gentlemen, from the Ella Fitzgerald songbook, we'd like to tribute the one and only great first lady of song with this one. Well, the concert was over at Carnegie Hall for my West Palm Beach fans. The maestro took bow after bow. <laughs> he said, my dear friends, I've given my I am so sorry. It's all over now. When from the balcony, well, Piper suddenly came a mournful cry. Oh, Mr. Paganini, please play my rhapsody. And if you cannot play it, won't you sing it? And if you can't sing it, you'll simply have to. Mr. Paganini, we breathlessly await your masterful baton. Come on and sling it. And if you can't sling it, then you're gonna have to. You're in a repertoire. And at that final bar, we greeted you with a round of applause. But what a great ovation for your interpretation of I never get much for moonlit skies. I never blink back at fireflies. We do listen. Listen, Paganini, what are you doing? Stop being a meanie. What have you up your sleeve? Come on and spring it. And if you cannot spring it, then you're gonna have to. So you can do the beat, you can do the hey, do you 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 hey,
That's the Italian in us. Oh, Mike and I are Italian, you know, when we get angry. What do you mean you're not going to play me that song? I thought I told... No, just kidding. We would never do that. We'd say, would you please play that song, Mr. Paganini? That'd be lovely. Thank you. <laughs> Jill Smalley. Thank you very much. Jill Smalley. Hi, uh, now, I'm not actually looking at this very much because we've. Uh, it's hard for me to see all the same... <laughs> Don, you know, he gave us a piece of uh, trivia that Deborah Messing is from Rhode Island. I knew oh, he would. I knew he would. This is great. All right, I'm just making sure that I've got all this chat. See, I've got all these. Ugh. All right, good. I figured that out. Richard Glazer's watching. Richard. Thanks for watching us, Richard. And Are I think kidding? Richard Sardella is fabulous, watching us too. Fabulous, Richard. Fabulous pianist. Now, I think Richard Sardell is watching as well, and we want to remind you that we'll be on Wednesday night on his show as well. With a, Actually, it's a special, special show. I will be co-headlining with my dear... Dear grandmother, Miss Angela Bakari. The two of us will be co-headlining. Now, I only did it under one circumstance because, you know, she we like to perform together, but she likes me to do all the work, you know. Make make the kid do, do it all. I said to her, no, no. If we're doing it together, we're doing it splitsies. We're going to do it in half. It's going to be you and me, baby. So we're doing it. It'll be the three of us, Mike Frenzy, myself, as well as Angela Bakari. Thank you, Richard. Hello, Julian. Thank you, Todd. Thank you guys so much for all your support. Uh, in thinking about the greatest jazz performers of all time, when you think of people like Ella, automatically the next person, Bob Levy. Oh, that's terrific. Bob, oh, we got good news for you coming up. Bob is featured on the new record that Mike and I have put together, but we'll talk more about that in a minute. When we talk about Ella, you have to talk about Mel because there was Ella and then there's Mel, the first lady of song and the Velvet Fog himself. They called him the male Ella and uh, or Mella. How about that? <laughs> My father says, who needs the Newport Jazz Fest? <laughs> well, we do. Believe it or not, we do. But thanks to people like you and your uh, lovely contributions and donations and your support, that's what makes this all really worth it. So thank you. Thanks for, for tuning in. And uh, we see your support coming through already financially. And we thank you very much for that. Anyway, back to Mel. Uh, here's a song that... Uh, is that Mel Torme did a lot in his act. And last week we did a tribute to Mel Torme. We did a lot of his songs. But this one we want to do for you especially because Mike and I have been doing this since I was 17 years old. A little bit of backstory on it. I was set to perform at, uh, where was that? Where were we going to go? Lincoln Center. That's where it is. And uh, it was a tribute to Jerome Kern. And Mike called me on like, you know, I don't know, a Tuesday and said, hey, I got a great idea. What about if you do that Torme arrangement that I wrote with Mel many, many moons ago? We first did it in 79, live at Marty's. You should, you know, think and learn it. And I went, are you out of your mind, uh, Mike? This is so intricate. And there's a scat solo and there's classical and it's jazz and it's Bach, you know, like <laughs> Johann Sebastian Bach. And I said, I don't think I can do that. But I figured, what the heck, I'd give it a go. And I rose to the challenge and learned it in 24 hours. And five days later, Mike and I went to, to Lincoln Center and performed this for the very first time. And it was just a thrill to perform that arrangement with the man who wrote it with Mel. They, they uh, had a beautiful collaboration for many, many years. And this is one of their collaboratory uh, accomplishments. The song itself comes from a Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers movie from 1936 called Swing Time. Now in the movie, Fred is a down on his luck gambler who's lost all his money. And he's trying to get to know this cute dance instructor played by Ginger. And so he takes lessons, and he's trying to show her how terrible he can dance. And he's trying to get on her good side, you know, to try to... But she wants something to do with it. And so he figures out, he says to her, Hey, teacher, teach me something. Nice teacher, teach me something. I'm as awkward as a camel. And that's not the worst, you see. My two feet haven't met yet. So I'll be teacher's pet yet. Because I'm going to learn to dance so first. So Ginger sings. Well, nothing's impossible, I have found. But when my chin is on the ground, I pick myself up, dust myself off, start all over again. 
trouble, but don't lose your confidence if you slip. Be grateful for that pleasant trip and take a deep breath, dust yourself off, start all over again. Work like so inspired till the battle of the day is won. You may be sick and tired, but you'll be a man. My son, will you remember the thing this man who had to fall to rise again to his take a deep breath? Just your yourself up. Take a deep breath, pick yourself up and start all over again. So friends, I'll get some self-assurance. Your endurance is great. I learn in easy stages if you're courageous and wait. To get the strength I want to, I must hold on to your hand. Maybe by that time I'm 50, I'll get up and do a nifty, nifty my grades in the piano books. As Mel Torme said, nobody better. Take a listen. Now that sounds suspiciously like your hand Sebastian Bach. How I love your hand Sebastian Bach. Yo, hand Sebastian Bach, yo, hand Sebastian Bach, hey, let's do a little more of J.S. Bach. Shabadoo, shabadoo, Isn't that great? Ooh. Mike, what you do with that? Those fingers oh, just yes. come alive. Those fingers are... What is this crazy stuff coming out? <laughs> Tom just said, are we witnessing the next, the next Mel Torme and George Shearing? Oh. <laughs> that's a very lovely compliment, actually. That's a very great compliment. Guess what George I just... Shearing is one of my favorites. And you know what? I just found a George Shearing record at a thrift shop signed for a dollar. These people didn't know what they had. This is why I love thrift shops in small towns because they have no idea what they had. And I got to buy it for a dollar and it was really, really cool. Um, you guys are so kind. Thank you very much. Thank you very, very much. We we love uh, we love being able to do this for you. And we very much appreciate uh, Consuelo Costin and Brad Taylor and everybody there at Soho Muse. Dean, thank you so much for having us. We are just so thrilled to, to be a part of this. We appreciate so much... Uh, Consuelo, what you're doing with this, uh, it means the world to us. You know, it's it's hard. We, we've we all gotten hit thanks to COVID. I mean, there's not a single human on the globe that hasn't gotten hit from it. But uh, we shared an interesting statistic uh, last week that we found a, a recent poll that um, talked about some of the most non-essential versus essential jobs. And of course, the most essential jobs were, uh, you know, doctors and healthcare workers and people like that. But it's what's amazing is that uh, uh, the majority of people voted the number one most non-essential job to be an artist. And that kind of bums me out because I feel like that's completely inaccurate. 
because what would we be doing during quarantine stuck at home without Soho Muse and concerts, Netflix, Hulu? What would you be doing without it? We wouldn't be doing anything without the arts. And it's people like Consuelo and people like Soho Muse and people like yourselves who support live concerts like this is, you guys are really making a difference. And I'm not just saying that to, to make you feel good, but it's really, we are so, so appreciative of your support. And uh, we feel it's a very essential job. This is an essential job. This should be added to the top five, in my opinion. And I think all of you uh, are proving that today. So thank you very much for your support. We, we, we really, really appreciate it. We'd like to switch gears now for a song with a, a, a number that was made, uh, recorded uh, many, many moons ago. This is written by Billy Strayhorn. And he wrote it when he was uh, 17 years old. And oftentimes this is thought of as a mature song to sing. People say, oh, you have to live life before you can sing this one. You can't sing this as a kid. Well, we say, forget it. Because this song was written by a 17-year-old. And uh, I'm not 17. I'm a bit older than that. So I feel like I can sing it. I used to visit all the very gay places. Those come with me places Where one relaxes on the axis of the wheel of life To get the feel of life From jazz and cocktails The girls I knew had sad and sullen gray faces with distant gay traces that used to be there you could see where they'd been washed away by too many through the day twelve o'clock tales then you came along with your siren song to tempt me to madness Your poignant smile was tinged with the sadness of a great love for me. Ah, yes, I was wrong again. I was wrong.
that's Mike Ramsey. In some secluded rendezvous. That's Lush Life, folks, from the Billy Strayhorn Duke Ellington songbook. Isn't that terrific? We love that song so very much. Thank you. Thank you so much for your love and for your support. We've got people viewing from everywhere. And uh, I've got to say, there's also another special shout out to Yoni Hoti in uh, Finland and to Claire Coco from West Palm Beach and to Thomas S. Laxon from Georgia. No, Georgia, North Carolina. I don't know where they live. It's all, it's, it, I don't know. It's inland. It's where I know it's not near the See, we're very um, spoiled here. We live right by the ocean. So for us, the ocean is, you know, it's about everything. Uh, the reason why I mention their names is because they guessed a very special, oh, hi, Diane. Another wonderful singer, Diane Ellis. Uh, another, uh, what do you call it? Special news that we'd like to, to broadcast for you. Now, we're going to announce it for the first time right here, right now, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, but we're going to ask you to not tell anyone who's not on Soho Muse. We wanted to announce this later on, but I wanted to give you guys, since you registered for Soho Muse, since you are here with us today, we want to give you a little special insight. But let's not share it with the rest of the world just yet. We want to make them work for it a little bit. Uh, we are just pleased to announce that on this forthcoming record that Mike and I have been producing, uh, the record features uh, 17 tracks all together, and it chronicles the last 25 years of, of my recordings that I've made throughout the years. I've not made nearly a fraction, talk about a drop of, in the bucket of the recordings that this man has done in his lifetime. But I've had quite a few, and we've decided to put together a nice chronological uh, definitive recording of songs from... Uh, my 25 years in show business, which is kind of exciting. And uh, we're pleased to announce that it'll feature Tom Selleck in his singing debut, ladies wow. and gentlemen. Tom Selleck's uh, first recording debut appearance. So that's what's going to be on this record, as well as a very special uh, introduction track by my dear, my one and only Miss Liza Minnelli. So this is an album not to miss, folks. We've got liner notes by Connie Francis, a track with Liza Minnelli, Tom Selleck, Mike Ranzi, of course, is featured and with lots of arrangements by him and our dear friend Charles Colello, as well as a very incredible and exciting duet with Jane Monheit. So again, I'm going to ask you to keep this under your hat. I know it's the internet, but I know you can do it. I have faith in you. The reason being is because I want, you know, you guys are the ones that signed on. You guys registered. You read the email. You put in your information. You showed up today. So this is for you, for your information to uh, to let you know. But please, let's not tell the, the rest of uh Facebook and the world and the internet just yet. We want to announce that and make it a special announcement. But I wanted to tell you guys ahead of time because you guys are special and you're here. And uh, that's what uh, that's what this is all about, right? Supporting one another. All right. We've got another one for you. Here's another Mel Torme one that you might recognize. It's written by Cole Porter. And fun fact, it was banned from the airwaves until the better part of the 1960s because of its whatever. But we're going to sing it anyway. Here we go. <laughs> Oh, love for sale, advertising young love for sale. I love that's fresh and still unspoiled, love that's only slightly soiled. Love a girl for sale, who, who will buy? Who care to sample my supply? Who's prepared to pay the price for a trip to paradise? Love for sale. Let the poets find a love in their childish way. I know every type of love that a father made. If you want the thrill of love, I've been through the mill of love. Oh, love, you love everyone, but true love for sale. Shabadilu, do 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 do
iTunes and the Amazon and all the places that you buy music digitally and also physical copies too I think are on Amazon or running out that's why we're making a new one we got a new record for sale it's coming out soon and we can't wait to share it with you we're gonna share it with you Everybody, everybody, everybody wants to be a cat. Oh yeah, everybody, everybody, everybody wants to be a cat. I said hallelujah, hallelujah. We got love for sale, we got love for sale, we got love for sale. Should have never done it all, but we'll do it for the little day. We've got love, we got love, we got love for sale. We got love for sale, we got love for sale. Oh man, I'm gonna sing like Elmo next time. Gotcha. Mike says he Mike's had enough of it. Have you ever had enough of Elmo? No, you like Elmo. Elmo was a great guy. Kevin Clash. <laughs> As this is here. What was Elmo like? Elmo's a great guy. The guy who did Elmo. I know. It's just funny when you say Clash. It's just funny when you say Elmo's, Elmo's a, a little great red bastard. guy. A little red. <laughs> Oh, Alex Ashley says that last note is always my favorite part of the song. Yeah, what's that? La. What would that be called in that chord? Well, it's not that chord. <laughs> On the G seventh, that's the flatted fifth. Yep. Oh, it's a flatted fifth. Love that. I do it's like a that. C minor. It's a Guys, I don't want to go yet. We're having way too much fun. Are you guys enjoying yourselves so far? Please let us know your love. Talk to us. Let us know how you're doing. And we'd like to remind you that we do have all our information up if you feel so inclined to contribute to us. You are helping us out a great deal just by being here and giving your support and your beautiful comments. It means so, so, so very much uh, to all of us. How are you doing? Are you doing well? Are you staying healthy? We hope that you are. We uh, we are so very thrilled. In fact, yesterday, uh, if you, well, actually, you only have about, I think, another day or two to watch it. If you go to cancerschmancer.org, spelled exactly how it sounds, cancerschmancer.org, uh, Fran Drescher is celebrating 20 years of wellness being cancer-free, and she assembled some of her favorite performers yesterday for a cabaret spectacular, and it includes performers like Bette Midler, Patti Lapone, Gabrielle Stravelli, uh, the cast from Ain't Too Proud to Beg, Judy Gold, Rosie O'Donnell, Stephen Weber, Renee Taylor, you name it, they were there, Rosalind Kind, and us. <laughs> we was there. She had Mike Renzi, Nicholas King, and we were so thrilled to be a part of it. So if you want to catch it, go to cancerspancer.org and watch it while it's still available. Uh, we were thinking about doing that song today, but I said, no, let's, let's let them go look at it on the website if they want. And then... Uh, they can do that. We have another one for you, folks, if that's all right, uh, before we go. This is a very beautiful song that we have that we wrote. Uh, wrote. We didn't write it. We recorded it, ladies and gentlemen, on uh, this brand new record. It's the opening track 
to the new record, and we love what it has to say. It's written by Dave Grusin and Alan and Marilyn Bergman, and it uh, comes to us from a film called The Champ. This is the theme song, and I think that it uh, it wraps up exactly how we feel about a beautiful afternoon like we've spent together with all of you. It's not how long we held each other's hand. What matters is how well we loved each other. It's not how far we traveled on our way, but what we had to say. It's not the springs we've seen. But all the shades of green. This is for Consuelo's dad. It's not how long I held you in my arms. What matters is how sweet the years together. It's not how many summer times we had to give to. The early morning smiles we'll wistfully recall. What matters most is that we loved at all. How many summer times we had to give to fall the laughter and the tears will gratefully recall what matters most is that we love. At all, what matters most is that we loved. Thank you, Consuelo. Thank you, Consuelo's dad. Thank you, Brad. Thank you, Nathan and Dean and everybody there at Soho News so much for having us. We have had a great time. We hope that for all of you viewers, that you will continue to support Soho News as they do a terrific job at highlighting some amazing talent. And uh, please give them your support. Please continue to support the arts in this crazy interim time while we're all still waiting to see what's going to happen. Mm. We love so, so much your support very, very much. And we can't do it without you. So thank you very Nick much. Yes. Guys, thank you, Nicholas. Oh my goodness. I am here with you. <laughs> I can't see you, but I can hear you. We are so grateful. What an amazing show, both of you. Honestly, what a treat to have you inside of Soho Muse. This has just been an incredibly, just such a celebratory evening that you've made for us. And thank, thank you for announcing your news. Oh my goodness. Um, what a <laughs> list of talent you have. And your voice is just absolutely magical. Thank you so much. Thank you, so much. Thank you for having us and congratulations on this beautiful, beautiful company that's doing such great work. We, we love you so very much, truly. Thank you. And everyone, please go and donate for this wonderful performance. It's on the link below and Concierge has this. We'll be sending a reminder tomorrow and with the performance. Thank you guys again so much. What a beautiful Thank evening. Thank you.